The work I've made for Scotland of Venice is called Spite Your Face and it's a 30 minute film. It's going to be shown here in Santa Caterina, which is a deconsecrated church in Venice. And um, the space was um, in my head quite a lot when I was thinking about ideas for the film. So instead of the kind of conventional left right of cinema, it's more of an idea of above and below, where a lot of the narrative plays between what's above and what's beneath, and kind of references a sort of vision of almost heaven and hell, or the sense of there being a world above which is utopian and a world below which is um, dystopian or real. Gentlemen, allow me to introduce you to the man of the hour, <laughs> There's a number of different characters in the film. They're all played by me. Um, I uh, dress up in elaborate costume and prosthetic makeup and transform myself into these different uh, characters. Um, there's layers of kind of illusion within it, so uh, I work with actors to record dialogue from script and then mime to that on camera, so kind of take on a different voice. Um, and there's layers of sort of prosthetic makeup and things which transform my face, so with each character it's a sort of very different impression and creates a kind of world. When I came to Venice to write the script, it was shortly after uh, Donald Trump and the American election, and um, I was interested in how lies kind of played into the Donald Trump campaign, and despite there being a lot written and a lot said to kind of expose the lies, it didn't affect the results. Um, there was still obviously a sense in which a lot of people believed in the message that they were sending. Um, so I got quite interested in exploring that and exploring in some ways the kind of power of stories and the power in many ways of a narrative over a truth. Oh, oh no! Now Pig, don't be embarrassed. We're all friends here. In the film you kind of see Pick following something of a sort of rags to riches narrative um, and I was quite interested in that as a narrative in the sense that I think I feel critical of um, how it functions within our culture and that it implies that if you work hard enough, if you want something hard enough, um, if, you, if you really, really try and really, really believe then you can get there and it ignores the kind of socio-economic and barriers and the privileges which actually function to allow people su success if wealth and fame is what we're talking about is success and prevent others from achieving that. I tell you that I go to bed nude, but that would be the truth now, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'm really pleased to see the work, um, the work installed and I'm so excited. I've never had this big a projection before so it's really exciting and um, yeah, it just I think it really is brought to life by the space and um, it's a very different experience than showing your work in a cinema or showing your work in a gallery. Um, yeah, I hope people find it a quite a kind of special and quite an exciting experience to be in this venue watching the work. <laughs>